I'm Mr. O, here with another moment at the Children's Museum of Houston. What are you doing? Playing with Winder toys. Can I try? Sure. You know, one thing I've always wondered is, how do wind-up toys work? Yeah, how does turning a knob create these different motions? Well, the best way to find out how these toys, available at Fiddlesticks Toys in the Children's Museum of Houston, work is... to break them open and see what's inside! <laughs> well, that seemed excessive. Maybe. But, look what I found. Wind-up toys are typically mechanisms of gears and other simple machines that create motion. For example, the gears change the spinning motion here to the up and down motion of the legs here. But this is the key to most wind-up toys, the spring. I think you have that wrong. This is a spring. Yes, that is a spring, but so is this. The spring in our wind-up toy is a torsion spring, a spring that is meant to be twisted and releases energy as it untwists. Your spring is a coil spring that, when pulled or bent, releases energy by bouncing back. Basically, a spring is a device that is meant to store energy for release. By turning the knob on your wind-up toy, you wind the torsion spring, thereby storing energy. When you let go of the knob, the spring unwinds, releasing energy into the gears, which causes the motion. It transforms the stored energy in the spring into kinetic energy, the energy that causes motion. Let me show it to you a different way. We're going to make our own wind-up toy, the spool racer. For this you'll need a pencil, a small wooden spool you can find at most craft stores, a small paper clip, a washer you can find at most hardware stores, rubber bands, and tape. First, attach the paper clip to the rubber band. Next, run the rubber band through the spool. Tape the paper clip to the spool, making sure none of it hangs over the edges. If you are using a smaller spool, you can also use a toothpick and break off the ends that stick out. Run the rubber band on the other side of the spool through the washer. Finally, put a pencil through the open loop of the rubber band. To make it work, wind the rubber band by spinning the pencil around and around. Then put it down on the table or floor and watch it go. Just like our wind-up toys, the spool racers work by first storing energy when you wind up the rubber bands. Then, when you put them on the floor, the rubber band unwinds, changing the stored energy into kinetic energy, energy in motion. Try making your own spool races out of different spools and different rubber bands. How much stored energy can you release? By the way, if you like making things like our spool racers, make sure to come check out our Instructables Made in Your Mind exhibit, open now through November 4th, 2012. This has been another Oh Wow moment from the Children's Museum of Houston. We hope your mind can come out to play. <laughs>